Oh yeah, ringtone opening. Hunter X Hunter episode 69. Naokalu <laughs> and Gonar doing the testing. Who are these kids? It doesn't make some sense. I've touched on this a bunch, but one of the cool things about life, or things that are encouraging to me, is that things are not as competitive as they might initially appear. I think it's called long tails in statistics, where like the, the vast, vast, vast majority of people are under the 50% mark of ability, if, if that makes sense. I'm kind of winging this one here, but like you figure for anything complex and difficult, by far the majority of people are at a low level of skill at that thing. Like if you look at Japanese language ability and your sample set is all people who are not born in Japan. If you're at an upper beginner level of Japanese, you're not that great at Japanese yet, but you're what, like top 99th percentile? And then from there, smaller and smaller moves up get you in a higher and higher percentage. Because the higher up you go in something, typically, the more work, the more difficulty there is in each progressive level up. So you're entering an exponentially smaller pool with every vertical move. Cool for a couple reasons. Like if you just want to be viable in something, your goal is not to be the best at it. Although you can use that as a, you know, guiding star. But you just need to be like, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the poster child for good enough. One way I like to phrase it is high end of casual. Maybe like one above that, you're viable. But then like you actually start to really specialize, you enter that that elite tier really quickly. I think that's the case for Golden Kluwa with Nen. They learn what Nen is and they're in the top 90, 99 probably percentile of all humans on earth. And then they've been specializing in Nen very diligently for months, I guess. And now they're like gonna be in the top Nen users in the world. AX, Heated X Showdown. Oh yeah, oh like a fly. That's actually really cool. I was not expecting it to be that great. Oh, uh, okay. You're about to get blown out of the water here. I like how this is probably their first time. <laughs> They're just on a whim, shattering your personal record and your best accomplishment. Please, spare this guy. That's the problem. Well, there's sumo, soccer, juggling. Damn, what would I choose? I might be the only one in the group that could juggle. Yeah, they're pretty resourceful. They're gonna figure out the pirate thing. This look at just part of the group. This is great. I like this sub arc. The sub sports arc in the isekai arc. I wonder what Isoka will do. Free throws, maybe? It's not interesting enough for Isoka. Right, right, right. He took out Guile. We got a good team in our corner. Right, right, there's no point of the teleporting. There you go, but does he stomach? Something about making other people play your game and not playing other people's games, etc. But it's really satisfying to beat someone at their own game. Okay, alright, I like how we're getting out the getting out of the way of the characters we don't really care about. Free throws out. I kind of want to see Gondu Sumo, though it's been established Kluwa has the greater physical strength. Wow, it's a lot of free thinking for an NPC. Know your role, Bobo. <laughs> yeah, Bobo. <laughs> I got bad news for you. Oh no, it, it wants to be free. Oh, this guy's... Oh! Okay, that's what you get, Bobo. Not knowing your role. Agent Smith over here. Wait, are they real? I'm so confused. I thought they were just programmed villains, programmed characters for this mini game. You're really just placeholders, speaking of NPCs. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm an idiot. How did I not register? This is, uh, yeah, this is him. He's the guy. In fact, we saw him tighten a battleship with his blitz ball. I'm not crazy, right? It's him. <laughs> <laughs> what 
<laughs> wow. Cold and hilarious. Alright, that was close. Wait, but how can this guy say he's gonna take care of the rest when it's eight people to win? Eight individual people to win. Also, he doesn't know that Gon is uh, Jing's kid, right? Oh, there it is. Okay, that makes sense. That's his plan. Can you say no? <laughs> like, you just kind of sealed his fate if you don't agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, you just leave. Bye, Felicia. Felicia's... Oh, this is gonna be where Spy Family got it, isn't it? Spy X Family. I stop talking about leaving and leave. <laughs> you know, if the shoe fits. I got the bloodlust inside of me. Come on, go and use your willpower. Minor crimes in the Hunter x Hunter world. Oh, it was real. Okay, thank you for explaining. Oh, here we go. You know Jing. Where have you seen this before? I like how Hunter x Hunter is now attempting an explanation as to why his death is okay, as if it ever mattered before. <laughs> the gunshot meme. Of course not. Of course. I really love my son. But feel free to kill him. Gon and Jing have a real boy boy named Sue dynamic. Grew up tough. Why does he look like the old Spice guy? Or no, the uh, those Equis guy. The most interesting man in the world. That means that's gonna happen, otherwise why explain that detail? Let's keep it real simple. Hit people with balls. Okay, surely there's no conflict of interest there. Is Isoka here? Oh, nice. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Out. There's <laughs> Ahsoka. Someone's gonna die. <laughs> I just accept your death. Wow. He came to terms with his own mortality. Oh, nice. He grasped a lot in that brief millisecond. Emotional damage. <laughs> oh, the rotation. That ball movement. Alright, well, it was from the, the clone, so. Just a shattered spine. It's enhanced. I bet Bisky's a beast at this. Yes. Just wheelchair life for him. Wow, lost his will and his spine. Wow, this Blitzball has the power to put you through life changes. That's its passive ability. Existential doubt. This look is going to be good at this. 
Oh yeah, it's got the properties of both rubber and gum. Ahsoka getting aroused. Watch him just sweep. You just step in though, right? Oh, they can merge. Okay. What's one fewer player? Bisky! <laughs> Alternatively, you could just do like full, full shield or reflect. Yeah, maximize defense with a single point, let someone else catch it. Well, they can choose the spot. Now, he said his name. Is it a trick? Or is he that bold? All right, so going. There you go. Someone else catch it. Knocked out of his shoes. Someone in the next town is going to catch that. Going, doing structural damage even by accident. Oh, it's a, at least a two-parter. Dodgeball special. You know, threw the ball at the wrong person. Gon's gonna catch this ball or die trying. I know people like Gon, and I see it the most clearly in sports. One of my best friends will just not lose. I think there is sort of a limiter you can unlock by will. I notice this on myself. A lot of times when I lose at sports, it's not that I, I couldn't have done better. It's often that there's some part of me that is either expecting to fail or, or just water following the path of least resistance or like pushing myself to the highest limit is so exhausting and perhaps even so risky that it doesn't naturally occur to me to do that in like a casual sports game. But some people are bulldogs or honey badgers, as I've referred to Gon, and they can make a casual sports game the only thing that matters in their life, the most important thing in that moment. And, you know, if you could feel that way about sports, assuming you have a minimal level or, you know, competent enough level of ability, you probably would be surprised at how often you actually win. For example, just isolating individual moments in basketball. Plenty of times where I think I'm not going to get a rebound because the person's in a better position and or is taller etc but like so many times shorter people than me in worse position have gotten rebounds on me giving your 100 has that way of closing that critical distance was that also innuendo or am i just getting warped by the show i'm trying to remember the details of the spyx family episode wasn't anya that stepped in to save the day oh no it's damien that rescues her well i hope this dodgeball arc is 35 episodes long and i hope we get to see biscuit and Ahsoka in, in action.